Hello, this is Chris from Envision Gaming and I'm going to show you how to install Metamod Source on your Counter-Strike game server. To begin with, we need to download the Metamod Source installation files. Open up a web browser and navigate to the Source Metamod Net website. From here, you will see the navigation on the left hand side. Click Downloads, then click on a mirror and download the installation files. Once it's downloaded, you'll need to extract the files. With the files extracted, you can check that you have the Metamod folder, which will include all of the mod files. Now we need to upload the extracted files to the game server. I am using Fire FTP, but you can use any FTP client. Now you need to upload the extracted files into your game server's Counter-Strike add-ons directory. Navigating through the C-Strike directory, you can see that add-ons folder, which will be empty because I haven't uploaded any mods. Drag across the add-ons folder, including Metamod inside, and you will upload all of the files contained inside of the mod. The installation files include both Linux and Windows mod files, but we only need Windows, so you can go ahead and delete the Linux extensions. The next stage is to create the VDF. This is often forgotten and is essential to create your mod. Select the options and then download the Metamod VDF. Once it's downloaded, you need to upload it to your add-ons directory. Use the same process as before to upload the Metamod VDF to your game server. It needs to go into the add-ons folder which will already contain the Metamod folder. Drag the Metamod VDF to the add-ons folder. As you can see, Metamod is already there. Now you need to restart your game server. I'm using HLSW for this, but you can restart it any way you know how. If you're using HLSW like me, you just need to connect via Archon and then enter Exit into the console. You can see in the right hand side by the ser server variables and the add-ons that no add-ons are currently installed. Now restart the server, enter exit into the window and it will begin to reboot. After a few seconds your server should automatically restart and you should see the add-ons listing now has Metamod in there confirming the install was successful. If you want, you can enter meta version into the console and you can see it returns the options.